Jesus. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And also, just to let you know, and the reason I'm kind of laughing as I say this, is it sounds like there might be a thunderstorm starting. Just mine. 
not saying I want to stay awake and toss and turn and be awake for hours. Nobody wants that. But by thinking about it, your unconscious mind takes that as being what you want to happen. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't know what's good and what's bad. All it knows is what you think about. And what you think about is what it tries to give you. Explained in a, a sentence that does not belong to me. Sentences we become what we think about. And this fits really well with hypnosis. We become what we think about. If you expect to lay down on your bed, your head touches the pillow, your body instantly feels more relaxed, and your mind starts to slow down, and you expect to just naturally drift into a deep sleep, then that's what is very likely to happen. Because that's what you're expecting. And expectation is really powerful. If you look at it in a way that... If you expect to go into a shop and expect someone to look at you rudely and not to be very friendly expect them not to like you, chances are you're going to pick up on things and you're going to experience that. But if you walk around thinking that everyone's going to like you, that's possibly what you're going to experience more of. Simply as expecting to see a red car on a long car journey. You're in a passenger seat. You expect to see lots of red cars. You have that in your mind. What are you going to see during that three hour journey in the passenger seat? You're going to be amazed at how many red cars you see. It's like there's some kind of magical thing from the universe just suddenly let loose a bunch of red cars like there's some kind of magical base paint spraying service that's just spraying all the cars red because that's what you expect to see and that's what you notice so expectation expecting to feel relaxed expecting to feel calm expecting your body to just really feel loose expecting your mind to slow down in the same way as when you listen to my voice and you listen to me whispering and if you listen regularly you're listening for a reason listening because it works. You're listening because you benefit from listening to me. You're not listening because you just want to waste 20 minutes of your life. What can I, what can I waste 20 minutes doing? I want to listen to that weird English man that has a ferret as a son. No, it's because you're benefiting and you expect to benefit from it. You expect to be affected by listening to me. The thing is, as well as being affected by listening to me, you're already affected before you even press the play button because of that expectation, which is also based on previous experience of listening to my voice and feeling tired. Sleepy, relaxed, calm, really calm. And he 
this is all part of the magic of just talking of just listening of just expecting to have that sense of calmness and you know what I find sleep or not do not care at all I'm just lying down to rest I'm just lying down to relax I'm just lying down because it feels really nice to have your body supported by your bed to have the muscles of your body just naturally be supported and to relax because when you lay to that position that feels comfortable your body has that memory of comfort your body has that memory of relaxation your body has that memory of sleepiness and as you think about that the idea just lay down on your bed or if you're sleeping up in your bed or if you're laying down in a chair whatever, you know whatever your sleeping situation is you can just think to yourself I don't care if I sleep I don't care, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're relaxed and that you're resting, and that's it. And it's nothing to do that when you stop. stress that you had maybe before there's no longer any tossing and turning because it doesn't matter you're not trying to achieve anything just like when you eat food once you've eaten the food, you're not trying to achieve anything once you've done it. Putting the food in your mouth, chewing it, and swallowing it, that's the process equivalent to laying down on your bed. Maybe making the bed, fluffing up the pillows, taking your clothes off, or whatever the process you go through, laying down on the bed. That's the eating of the food, chewing it and swallowing it safely. You lay down on your bed. You don't have to think about digestion. You don't have to think about the body processing the food, taking the vitamins and the fiber and transferring everything into energy and spreading that through the blood system into the different parts of your body and the major organs processing everything you don't have to think about that because it doesn't need your attention in the same way you don't need to think about sleeping you don't need to think about what happens after you lie down it's unimportant sense you can think is you know how you have with a computer you can click it back to factory settings because we're born with the ability to sleep for long periods of time so easily so naturally 
I've seen a little baby or a toddler and they'll be there sitting and they'll literally be looking at you and their eyelids will be <laughs> falling down not off their face obviously but they'll be closing their eyes and opening trying to keep their eyes open and their eyes will close and they have no control over that because to sleep that sleeping is so powerful it's such an unconscious thing just like breathing it's like trying to hold your breath it's impossible to hold your breath without breathing eventually you have to breathe because your body forces it the same way it's impossible not to sleep eventually I know people that have gone days without sleeping and eventually they fall asleep because they have no choice it just happens naturally take the stress away when you take the wanting, the needing it makes it easier to just be just be there the only thing you need to do is just lie down on the bed that's it you just have to be there as much participation that is required from you. You don't need to do anything. Just be there. Just expect. Expect to fall asleep because that's what would naturally happen. And that's what has naturally happened thousands of times in your life thousands of times you haven't had to do anything it's kind of the opposite to when you try and stay awake you know that time maybe you've been out had a late night out maybe at a party and you have to go to work in the morning and all you want to do is close your eyes and go to sleep and you may be sitting at the desk maybe at college at school at work you may even be at a wedding you know and all you want to do is close your eyes and just go to sleep and you find that every now and then you catch yourself and you have closed your eyes and you have fallen asleep and when you fall asleep it's as if your ears just stop working for some reason I sleep during the day sometimes there's music being played in the garden I don't hear it when I'm asleep I don't hear it when I'm drifting It's as if someone comes along and puts earplugs in my ears and they quickly pull them out again and I'm like oh what's that it's just natural as your body processing your food sleeping easily sleeping expecting just fall asleep expecting it not wishing for it not demanding it not trying to force it because it can't be forced just like you can't force yourself to like a certain food we've all got food particular things about so we don't like maybe it's marmite maybe it's peanut butter maybe it's I don't know, a vegetable or a, 
the throat or you know whatever you just don't like it for whatever reason in the same way you may love something you might love the taste of something and you're always going to love the taste of it because it's natural that's just a natural thing can't be forced can't force yourself to love something to love the taste of something can't force yourself to fall asleep otherwise you would need to listen to this because we all have willpower we all have the ability to be stubborn we all have the ability to be disciplined especially when it's something as important as getting a good night's sleep we all have that ability to really knuckle down and say that's it I'm going to do this whatever it may be not for everything maybe but for something really important but that doesn't work with sleeping because it's a natural relaxing automatic process that takes no effort it takes no effort you just need to be open you just need to be willing to just lie down on the bed Enjoy the process of just lying there. And just enjoy the feeling of lying on your bed and relaxing. Because your mind is resting. is resting and there's nothing for you to do just put some faith and trust in your natural ability that thing that you've been able to do that thing that you've always been since you were a baby since before you were even born you were sleeping inside the womb now something something to maybe test for yourself I'm not bringing an end to this session I'll speak